Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make this cool effect in Photoshop. So let's jump right into it. I'm going to place this on the side so we can see it as a reference. First things first, you're going to click here and have your background ready. I'm going to go with a really dark gray, almost black, but not completely black. I'm going to place this right underneath. Then we're going to write our text. So press T on your keyboard or click here to grab the type tool and write. We're going to change the color. We're going to change the font. The size. We're going to center it and maybe place the letters a little more closer to each other. And we can just start. So we're going to first off Command J and duplicate our text. We're going to leave the, deselect this, one's, this one and we're going to leave it there. We're going to use it later. And this we're going to Command G and group it together. Then command J to duplicate it and press one time up on your arrow key. Then duplicate again and move up again till you get to about 10 copies. And we have our first group. We're now going to double click on it, select color overlay and Click here and you get the eyedropper tool. You can either choose the color you want from over here or if you have a reference image like I have and want this color, you can just with the eyedropper tool go in and select that exact color. Now basically what you want to do after that is select the group you made, command J to duplicate it, press shift and press the arrow key up once. This will move your whole group of 10 pixels. If you hold the shift key, you're going to move 10 pixels. And double click on the color overlay. And you can basically select the next color. What you basically want to do is just repeat this process for however many colors you want to have. Um, and just keep repeating this. Now I'm going to skip some colors for the sake of the video so that it's not going to last 100 million hours because we all hate that, but theoretically you can add as many colors as you wish. Actually, we'll make this one um, the red. Now we're going to make this yellow. And lastly, we're going to reactivate this copy that we had on the bottom, place it right over here. And we're going to change its color to this cream, something like this. And that's basically it. To have less of a mess, you could just select everything, right click and convert to smart object. So that you all have all here. If you ever want to change something, you can just double click on here, the thumbnail of your smart object. It'll open up this where you have all your separate layers just to tidy up your file a little bit. I'm then just going to group this, duplicate this, merge it so that I have a copy if I, of the smart object if I ever need it. And I'm just going to go to Filter, Noise, Add Noise. And I'm going to add about 8% noise. We can delete this now. And that's basically it. It's super easy, super fast. You can get some really cool color combinations. But also, you don't have to keep your text um, on this view. You can just warp it and have it 
go some really cool like movements and stuff um, and yeah that's basically it I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you probably next week feel free to follow me on Instagram I post daily designs on there and um, subscribe and comment if you have any tutorial suggestions thank you so much have an awesome day bye